Okay, let's take a look at another standard from Nikon. The Nikon D7100 versus the newest uh, from Nikon just came out yesterday, D500. Uh, working with the digital calipers here and measuring the body over and over again between the D500 and the older Nikon D7100. The D500 is 2 millimeters thicker at the chassis. It is 11 millimeters wider across the breadth of the chassis versus the D7100. It is eight millimeters higher. The grips are radically different. The grip from the D500 is taken exactly from the much, much beloved Nikon D750, where we have a nice, deep, thick grip and a very shallow, fat grip on the D7100. Let's take a look at the back of the cameras. Radical improvement. This is Nikon's flagship camera, DX, the uh, much removed now, DX flagship Nikon D300 from years and years ago. This is its newest, latest, shiny cousin. No pop-up flash. This is a professional model. Weather-sealed joystick. Extra function on back. Touch screen, which I'll go over in video reviews, which are awesome. Huge, awesome addition, especially if you're doing macro photography, is this round viewfinder. I've owned every Nikon DSLR made, and this makes a radical difference. These pop off easy, and the magnifying viewfinders are not good to look through, so you have a much better field of view through uh, this uh, standard flat eyepiece or using a magnifying viewfinder, as is found on Nikon's professional cameras like the Nikon D3, D4S, D5, and uh, D810. It isn't, doesn't even exist on the Nikon D750, which has the same uh, eyepiece exactly as the Nikon D7100. Um, I've done about an hour of testing so far on the Nikon D500. Outside, take a look at some raw files. Um, ISO performance is amazing. Uh, color saturation is incredible. Autofocus speed is incredible. Uh, check today. I'll be doing a lot more reviews on the Nikon D500. And let me know if you have any questions. Okay? I got this wonderful camera from Robert's Camera up in Indiana. I have to thank them for the awesome speedy delivery. Everybody up there, say hey to Corey Ranker and to Bruce. Yo, Bruce. At uh, used, uh, used Photo Pro and Robert's Camera, the best camera store in America. I don't say that with any sponsorship. No connection to them at all. Other than my connection to them is that I appreciate awesome customer service. Uh, well-packaged, fragile camera and lens equipment, and incredible prices on used stuff. And there's nowhere else in the world, like for used gear, for example, where you're going to get a six-month warranty. I mean, that is unbelievable. If you think that was a plug for Roberts, it is. But I've got no reason to plug their stuff other than saying they are as good as I say they are. Okay? I don't have anything from them. I'm saying this of my own free will. Anyway, check out the video reviews on the Nikon D500. I'm going to be doing a bunch today, and I am going to kick it. Not literally kick it. Fragile little camera. Not fragile. I don't mean that. I mean, I don't abuse gear. My point is I'm going to kick it metaphorically. I am going to pound it, kick it. I'm going to go inside out, upside down, and backwards. Let me know what you want me to test the Nikon D500. And unless it's too radical, I mean, I can't fulfill every request. But I will try to get to it, okay? Answer your questions. And I will have a bunch of raw files and JPEGs for download on NikonFocus.com. I'll give you the links below in the upcoming videos, okay? Thanks for watching. Bye.